Hey, oh, welcome to my video. Um, today we're at Stanley's Edge. Well, I'm at Stanley's Edge, um, and I thought I'd do a video on how to be like yourself if you are a bit of a loner and you've not got anybody you can go with. So here's the situation: you want to go out climbing. It's a beautiful day like it is today. You've not got anybody to go with because they're either at work or they've got family commitments and what do you do? So, without spending too much time being a bit dreary and uh, you know, going on and on about rubbish, um, I just wanted to say this is my approach, this is my method, you might do it differently, um, you might use different equipment, gear, blah blah blah, um, all right, I found this to be safe. I found it to be uh, a very easy way to set up and it's easy to get yourself out of trouble if you need to, all right? Okay, so let's just talk very quickly about route selection. What I've chosen to do is to select a route that is easier than what I would be able to climb had I had a partner. Not only that, but it's got three possible straight routes all within reach of a top roll setup with minimal adjustments. Therefore, I'm not having to take down my top rope, move it along and set it back up again somewhere else, which is quite time consuming. So just looking in the guide now, the climbing guide, we're at Manchester Buttress and it is one, two and three. I'm thinking about doing one, two and three. And they're all in line with each other just there, you see? So we've got just to the left, the middle and the right. What you're looking at here is my top rope set up. I've got one, two and three anchors there. Each crack has got two cams and they are all equalized. What you're looking at there is my rope that has been tied in the middle and joined with two opposing carabiners straight down to the floor, two strands. Attached to my harness, I've got the Petzl Micro Traction at the top. There's the lead progress capture device and the Gree Gree 2 at the bottom as a backup and also to get us back down safely when we reach the top of our climb. Each attached to its own strand of rope so that should anything go wrong, such as the harsh micro traction biting and breaking the rope or sheath, we've got a sound rope in which to protect ourselves. Around my shoulders I've got two 60cm slings so that they cross and attached to that I've got a carabiner and some elastic cord. What it does is hold up the device so that it stays taut and reduces any chances of uh, slack accumulating as you climb. You've got to attach a weight to the strand that's got the micro traction to keep the line taut. Once clipped in, you've got both devices on, you've got the lines taut, you're ready to go, you're ready to start climbing. One of the drawbacks to this setup is that sometimes it can interfere with one another a little bit, you know, get in the way of each other. Um, and there is a bit of slack as you climb with the gree gree. Uh, you've got to try and pull that in as you go, and sometimes it's a bit awkward, but it's the best that I've been able to come up with.
Once you've reached the top of your climb, um, you've got to disengage the teeth. It's a little bit hard showing you here with the one hand. But you've disengaged the teeth and then you're free to descend with just the gris gris. Though I find it actually makes much more sense to just take it off completely when you get safe at the top of the climb and just abseil to the bottom with it dangling from your harness.